Hey everyone! Today we're going to start with our stylistic author writing techniques. Today we're going to learn one called the crack it open technique. So follow along with the document, the assignment, and once you understand the crack it open technique, you're going to be embedding it into your draft that follows that nine paragraph paper skeleton outline, and you're going to be color coding the crack it open technique pink today. Okay, follow along. Crack it open. Please open up this document. Our learning target today is to write with an awareness of stylistic aspects of narrative composition. When you crack open a piece of text, you take an object, person, or place, and you give it dimension by adding a brief backstory for it. This technique helps you, as the author, build voice, style, and authenticity. Let's start by cracking open some people. Figuratively, people, figuratively. Cracking open people. Think about what makes a character in your memoir or in your narrative writing unique. What is a shared memory you have with this person that shows qualities about his or her personality better than just offering a descriptive adjective, like fun? So, let's take a look at an example. Let's say in my memoir, I'm writing about and including my uncle. Instead of just saying, my fun uncle is going to go with us, which is boring. This adjective doesn't show the character's personality in a unique way. This doesn't give you an insight into who this person is. Instead, I could say, one of my most interesting family members was going to go along with us. One who let me drive his Oldsmobile car around an empty parking lot where no one was watching when I was six. My cool uncle. Now we have a tiny backstory that gives personality to my character. It adds dimension. Now I don't want you to get lost in a tangent where you're going on this like super long anecdote about something that else that happened, but I do want you to provide enough insight to make the reader feel like now he or she knows this person and can feel something towards him or her. So you're going to be in your draft looking for two characters and you're going to build a tiny, tiny, tiny micro little baby backstory. Give us a little insight into this person and you're going to be color coding those pink today. Not only can we crack open people, we can also crack open objects. So. Think about what makes an object unique in your eyes. What about it holds particular significance to you? For example, instead of saying, I decided to wear my favorite shirt, that's boring. This adjective doesn't show why this object has significance for me personally. I can crack it open. I can add a tiny backstory to this object that makes it have some style and some personality. Here's an example of cracking it open. Example, I decided to wear my favorite blue shirt that had an 18 on it. Although I'm not quite sure why it was still my favorite, it had certainly been unlucky when I had it on the day I fell off the monkey bars at school and dislocated my elbow while wearing it. Okay, tiny, tiny backstory. Now we have some depth and we have some significance to the object, but also it shows the reader something personal about me. So you're going to be finding two objects in your draft and you are going to be cracking them open by giving tiny backstories to them. Notice how I'm not going off on a long tangent anecdote, but I'm just providing enough to give the reader some insight. You're going to crack open two objects and you will be highlighting those and color coding them pink. All of the crack open will be pink. Next up, and the last thing we can crack open is a setting. So think about what makes a setting unique to you. What about it holds particular significance to you? For example, we hung out on the backyard swings. Boring. This does not show the importance of this spot to me. So here I'm going to crack it open. I'm going to give a mini backstory that adds some personality, some depth and some dimension. I went to the one location where all of my brilliant ideas came to me, the backyard swings. They were rusty, sharp, 
completely unsafe in every way, I had almost broken my leg on the punching bag, and they were incandescently wonderful. Now the reader has an understanding of why this spot is significant. It has some style, it has some personality. So you're going to be looking for a setting in your uh, narrative, and you are going to be cracking open the setting, and you will be color coding that pink. So in summation, when we crack open a person figuratively, an object or a setting, we're providing many backstories that add depth and dimension. This makes the writing unique. It makes it special. It makes it represent you as an author, as a writer. So at the very bottom here, in your memoir draft, you are going to crack open two people figuratively and highlight the text pink. You're going to crack open two objects and highlight the text pink. And you're going to crack open one setting and highlight the text pink. Okay, do you need help with Google Docs? Let me show you really quickly what to do. You're going to go into your memoir or your narrative piece of writing and whenever you have your crack it open technique, so you should have two for people, two for objects, and one for setting, that means five pieces of crack it open text. When you have that crack it open text, you're going to be highlighting it pink, so it will look like this. In order to highlight in Google Docs, your keyboard has to be open. So you are going to type your text for crack it open. You are going to hit select, and you are going to select all the text that is that crack it open technique. And then up in the toolbar, next to the A right here, we have our highlighter. You're going to select the highlighter, and for crack it open technique, you are selecting pink all five pieces of crack it open will be pink in your draft this will make it easy to identify them so you'll be able to find them quickly and count yes i have five two people two objects one setting and also your peer editor down the line will be able to identify them quickly and i will as well so that's your writing task for today have fun cracking open some people some settings some objects and feel free to watch this video if you need a refresher on anything all right, have fun.